compound interest. The amount P is deposited in an account giving R percent annual interest, but it's compounded n times per year. Find the amount A in the account after T years. So here is the amount in T years. Here's the initial amount P. And this is our exponential form for growth, one plus uh, growth rate to a time, so or to an exponent. So let's take it one thing at a time. The annual interest rate is R, but it's divided up into N periods per year, number of compounded periods. So if it was one period per year, like annual, it would just be one plus R. And we've seen types like that, and we know how it builds up to be uh, an exponential form. Um, so the N number of compounding periods goes here and there. And T is the number of years. So if there's two compounding periods, N equals two, it'd be two T. In other words, there would be two compounding periods for every year. If there's 12 compounding periods, that's monthly, then there's 12 T compounding periods. So if it was one year, there'd be 12 compounding periods. If it was two years, there'd be 24. So it definitely is NT up there. So that's how the compound interest formula works. Now let's go down to our particular problem here. $1,000 is deposited in an account giving 6% annual interest compounded monthly. That's 12 times a year. Find amount A in the account after five years. And then they have part B and part C. So part A, after five years, here's the uh, formula. Here's the amount, $1,000 initially. One plus the rate divided into 12 equal parts because it's compounding monthly, 12 periods. There's your 12 for a certain number of years, but we're going to simplify this down. 0 0.06 over 12 is 0 0.005. And then we can add that together and just get 1.005. And I think they wanted it for five years. So I wrote this as a function notation. A of five is 1,000, 1 1.05, to the 12, 5. This is not being multiplied. This is a function notation. So that's 1,000, 1 1.005 to the 60. And you punch that into the calculator and you get this amount of money. So it grew uh, by about $348.85. Part B. Find the years necessary for the amount to grow to 1,500. To solve that, we need logarithms, which is coming up. But let's do it with the calculator method because you shall always know how to do both. Put the function 1000, 1 1.005 to the 12x goes in there. It didn't show because it ran off the screen. And we want it to grow to 1500. So put the 1500 line. Had to mess with the window a little bit. But I know I'm going to at least 1500, so I have to go beyond that. So I went to 2000, marked it off with 500s. And so this is the curve, that's the function. Here's the 1500 line, they intersect right here. And that's uh, about 6.77 something. And we can round that. T equals 6.8 years is how long it would take to become 1500. All right, that makes sense because it took five years to become 1348, so 6.8 years to become 1500. And then we have our last question. This one says, forget the 16% rate. What rate would be needed for $1,000 to grow to be 10,000 in just five years, given monthly compounding? 
So it grows to 10,000, initially 1,000. It's 1 plus R over 12 to the 12, and we want it to be 5 years. So we're solving for R. So first thing we do is divide both sides by 1,000. 10,000 divided by 1,000 is 10. And then we also, at that same step, 12 times 5 is 60. So now we're here. Now we use that rational exponent trick that we've used before. Raise both sides to the 1 60th power. These two sides are equal, so if we raise it to the 1 60th power, they should be equal. Okay, then we just keep that as 10 to the 1 60. The 1 60th times 60 cancels out and we just get 1 plus r over 12. Then we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. It knocks off over here and becomes subtracted 1 over there. r over 12. Multiply both sides by 12, knocks it off of here, brings it over to this side. Then we're ready to put it in the calculator to do it all in one shot. See, rather than getting a decimal here, we wait and get the whole thing lined up and then put it all in the calculator. That way we don't get as much round off error. So we get the actual value and then we round it off. So 0 0.469 and so that's about 47%. So that's a real high interest rate. It probably would not be available, but that's what it would take to turn $1,000 into $10,000 in just five years. Now, if you're wondering about rounding off, usually in the problem, they'll tell you what, how many places um, they want you to round it off to.